hi guys once again welcome back to the laravel chat application so in the previous videos we are building the chat application and i'm going to resume this series i was a bit busy with my own work and i'm also building the application for the philistine uh, for the gaza right where they want to collect the donation from the donor so i was busy here and i'm going to now uh, continue my rest of the stuff here so this one uh, would be the um, our application where I'm sending my messages from here if I'm saying I'm here so I'm receiving those messages here with the broadcasting if you are not familiar with this how it's working out so you can watch the first three videos we will learn this and we are building this step by step guide and these are the messages I want to now show them here right so how I can do this I'm going to first remove these two ones and then I'm going to create uh, I'm going to create the backup of those ones now let's go here I'm going to go to the top here I'm going to remove this so dot 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 right and then this above div and I want to copy the backup of these two ones right so these are the two messages and let me open the notepad I'm going to save them into the notepad so later on I'll consume them oh my god they are looks very ugly so let me add some space to make them proper proper highlight them that uh, what is the sender message and what is the receiver message okay now that's fine I'm going to remove this out and here I'm going to create a new div I'm going to create a new div so I'm going to name this so div I'm going to create an ID ID would be the chat div right or we can say that chat body something like this chat body perfect and here I'm going to append my messages so how I can append those messages so where I'm getting those messages so whenever I'm sending my messages right whenever I'm sending my messages so I'm receiving those uh, message here right but at that time I'm passing the string from the controller right I'm just passing this string message and successfully but I want to send the overall message where I want to check that uh, what is um, uh, is this message is sent by use uh, sent by the sender itself or it's received right so that's why I'm going to do this so let me close this first also close this web dot file and message sent to and this message is responsible for containing everything so i'm going to dispatch not only message key i want to oh, dispatch my whole message object so here it's so now uh, dispatching this whole object and i will receive the whole message here right and i'm going to perform the actions on this one right so here i'm going to say that uh, uh, if um, e dot message not equal null so I want to append this here somewhere right so I'm going to append this to the chat body right I'm going to say I'm going to use this append and I'm going to use this back ticks so it would be uh, with the very near with the one button right so it's a bit different with from the codes so use this one so you can in this way you can add the multi line your javascript code so i'm going to copy this stuff right and then paste to this stuff here so why i'm doing this because when my user will send those messages send any message so i want to append this out right so first i'm going to append this uh, uh, without any dynamic stuff so now let's give it a try let's get refresh and yes there is nothing so i'm going to say that hello you send this out and yes this one is uh, appended here but one thing is its div is added at the top why uh okay chat div everything is fine why it's doing that mm, maybe is it same in the previous video so let me check that is the same uh, open the render videos okay this would be the chat app third would be the no it won't be in the first first video where i configured this out 
no it's in the correct format but at that time it's not showing properly so let me reduce some message length maybe it's doing that but this is uh, not the case we will fix that issue don't worry so here i'm going to type my message sending the message and no still not to looks good but uh, uh, anyway i'll fix that issue later right so i'll align this properly maybe i'm adding this ah i missed that div right this one is a div which is responsible for this one and i think i missed one div so let me add a div here so it would be the div something like this let's get a fresh send it again send and perfect not the perfect one let me uh, copy it exactly from there here ah it's contained the styles too so sorry guys i'm going to now replace it one more time let's get refresh and at that time it would be fine okay and perfect now it looks good and we have space between this user image and then the message and then both are aligned properly so our message is sent successfully and i want to now uh, here i want to show the dynamic message how i can do this so i'm going to do here is showing the dynamic message at that time we don't have any profile pictures i'm not going to update this out i'm going to just update this message thanks for visiting this one right so i'm going to say that dollar and do e dot to e dot message right and uh, what uh, message we have so in the message we have uh, a message uh, property right so now let's get refresh i'm going to say that hi guys send this out and perfect it's now showing that hi guys and i want to also make this empty when this uh, message is sent right so at that time i'm going to say that to here whenever um uh, when my message sent successfully so i want to say that message uh, should be message should be null or empty something like this right and now let's get refresh try one one more time send get refresh and yes but still our this isn't in this empty ah, i'm doing this uh, making this variable empty i thought i'm using the view js right because in the view js it's uh, using the two-way binding so that's why i just uh, made this only this empty so let me now find that uh, exact input right this would be the message input and i need to make this empty something like this so now let me call this message uh, message uh, message id and then say that value should be the empty something like this now let's get refresh hi 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 send okay send successfully and then this made this empty perfect we are going to add this uh, perfectly and uh, but here i want to first make sure that to uh, i'm appending this message uh, is this message is sent by this user who is logged in or sent by someone else right because if someone if he is receiving the message from someone else so still this one is marked as this uh, blue background but i don't want to do this so how i can differentiate between uh, differentiate be between those messages uh, so here i'm going to say that uh, uh, if another if uh, um, turn, uh, another nested it i'm going to say that if e dot message uh, message dot to sender sender id right to say that sender id because our message contain the sender id right so i'm going to say that sender id equal equal i want to collect the uh, id from the property of login user so user id would be the auth 
uh, here this would be the auth right and then auth id so this will return the login user id and i want to oops let me make this correct auth id and if this one is equal with the user id so i want to then append this out right so let me align this a bit more like this so remove this one space um, not this, this keep this cut this out and then paste it out here perfect right go here and if this one is now i want to add another if condition um, else if uh, if this one e dot to message dot to receive a uh, receiver id uh, how i can differentiate this if message dot receiver id equal then the sender id it means that uh, sender wants to send message to this receiver so then this uh, then this will be visible but i'm going to now change this with this one right this one so let's replace with this one uh, line it bit more okay and then also do it here change this uh, message where is the message thank you i like your product so just replace this with the dollar and then e dot to, to message dot to message whatever the message it's received okay at that time i'm going to now saying that this one and now uh, this user will send the message to another user right so i'm going to open the another web browser so i'm going to open my application in the two web browsers right so let's uh, open this out to start without data skipping everything okay just close this out and here i'm going to log in my another user and i have uh, john lal and then test user so let me log in this and then this would be the i think the password let me try this this would be the uh, credential is wrong so let me uh let me change this with this one so then i'll be able to log in this user too with the password okay perfect now here i have logged in my user which is john and then this one above one is a test user right so let me align them properly to see their proper output so i'm going to say here this one is a user which is john and then this one would be the test user perfect so whenever this user uh, will this one is a john this one is a test user so i want to send my message from this test user right now let's get refresh get refresh to so i'm going to now send this message to hello john right so this will show the message which is uh, uh, in the in the what the background in the blue background and this will let's see what's going to happen on this one so it should be the receiver one hello john at that time this one is sent and we are receiving it uh, we are able to view it properly and here we are not able to see anything message sent successfully but we are unable to receive it here so now let's go here and we are first appending this sender id equal user id and then receive it oh i added this sender id so this should be equal to the user logged in user id so then this will be matched so this should be the user id as same here we are checking the sender id and here we are checking the receiver id so now let's go here let's get refresh on the both ends perfect and now i'm going to say that to hello mm, hello john how are you send this out and yeah it sent from here and we received it here too right 
so this one is a john which is a receiver and then this one is a sender who is a test user so here i'm going to reply it from here that oh, i am fine uh, what about you what about you right what about you so just send this out perfect i'm fine what about you here and this one isn't received but this one is receiving here right i don't want to do this right if my user is a, a sender itself so <clears throat> then why he is receiving because uh, my sender id is now different so if my sender id equal equal the logged in user id so then this will be the fine that's fine and then the in the receiver id if the receiver id equal equal the logged in user so why this one is appearing here this shouldn't be appear here so let me check this in the database that what's going on so here in the messages table it's saying that uh, let me go here open it properly and the messages would be the sender would be the one and then receiver would be the two uh, let me make this how many messages uh, 34 messages are there so let me open the 50 here so this would be 34 sent by two and then receiver would be the also the two so that's not good and why it's doing that i think we have uh, added this thing here statically let me go to my uh, view blade file whenever i'm doing this so i told you that how you can maintain this one-to-one -one chat so here i have added this to value right so which is which, which isn't true right so uh, here we will pass those values so whenever your user will click uh, from the sidebar you have a left sidebar where user will click on any of the user and it will pull that user id and then add this into the receiver id so in this way this will work right at that time we have only two user and i'm passing this two uh, user id here so that's why it's not working but if i uh, make this one and then go ahead let's get refresh so in this way it will work right similarly so here i'm going to say that let me go here and say that oh, hello test user so in this way it will work perfectly send this out and yes it's sent from here and then received it here right so it means that it's perfectly working but the issue is we uh, haven't configured this system for the multiple user we made this for only the two users so that's why we are facing this issue right and um, i think that's it for this series or uh, some guys are requesting uh, for this series should be the multiple user uh, multiple user series are um, where i'm going to chat where user can chat between the multiple user so um, let me know that if you need that uh, that kind of functionality so if you'll get many requests so i'll try to shoot video on that so thank you so much guys for watching the whole videos and if you think that this series added some values into your career uh, support me on my mission to shoot the premium courses free of cost so you can support me by sharing my videos with your friends so in this way i'll get more views so i'll shoot more courses thank you guys bye bye